Education Galaxy presents Represent Proportional Relationships. Today, we're going to join Penelope in her math lab and explore how to represent proportional relationships with tables, proportions, graphs, and rates. Welcome to my math lab. I am Penelope, and the guy on the wall is my African tiger beetle friend, Harold. You caught me in the middle of mixing up some more dye for my beautiful purple hair. My secret formula for my purple hair color is four parts of blue nitro gel dye to three parts of red nitro gel dye. Build a table that shows possible values of B ounces of blue nitro gel dye that I should combine with R ounces of red nitro gel dye to create the same fabulous shade of purple. Excellent start. Now, if we want to expand the table, we simply take the numerator and denominator and multiply them both by two. What did you get? That's right. You get eight over six. If we want to continue, we go back to our initial ratio and we multiply the numerator and denominator by three. What do you get? That's right you get 12 over nine. Let's go one more time. Multiply the numerator and denominator by, that's right, four. Tell me what you get. Yes, 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 16 over 12. What's that, Harold? Yes, you can multiply the numerator and denominator by any number as long as it's the same number and the resulting ratio will be equal to your first ratio. Harold, let's use your speed data to show how to represent proportional relationships with proportions and graphs, okay? Good deal. Harold is an African tiger beetle and can run at a rate of five miles per hour, which is approximately seven feet per second. Which proportion can be used to find out how far Carol can run in half a minute? First, we'll use a graphic organizer and set up our own proportion. Our labels will be feet per second. He runs seven feet in one second. Yes, Harold, one of the answer choices uses a five. We can eliminate that. Now the question asks how far Harold can run in half a minute. A minute is 60 seconds, so half a minute is what? That's right, 30 seconds. Yes, Harold, the answer choice that uses 0.5 is just trying to trick people. Let's eliminate it. We've narrowed it down to two answer choices and they use all of the same numbers, so which one is correct? That's right, it's the bottom one. The numerators have to stand for the same thing and the denominators have to stand for the same thing. This time we want to know which graph represents how far Harold can run over time measured in seconds. We know that Harold can run seven feet per second. If we multiply by 10, this means 70 feet per 10 seconds. So let's look at the Y values when X is 10. The Y values are 50, 35, 80, and 70. That's right, Harold. The bottom right graph is correct. I'm going to share my special project with you. I, Penelope, am developing a cure for math phobia. My current specimen, Math Antiphobia 4, is growing. The list shows the number of math antiphobia cells that the specimen has had each day for five days. By what factor did the number of cells change each day from the first day to the fifth day? I know that seven times six is 42, but does that work for the rest of the numbers? Let's do our calculations and find out. Yes, it works. Six is our scale factor. Thanks for joining me in my lab. I'm going to go look at the night sky and see what kind of proportional relationships that I can find among the stars. Harold, Harold, what is going on? I have told you, no parties in my lab. Well, bye guys, um, I'll see you next time.